everyone. Today's a very exciting day because it has been, honestly, a very long time since I have gone on H&M and been like super excited about the things that I'm seeing. And well, the other night I was browsing around, they had launched their new like summer, spring, summer collection. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. I love it. I love it. I want it. I need it. And so I made an order for myself and I feel like I could have made an even bigger order, but I controlled myself. So let's do an H&M haul. <laughs> also, before I get going away on H&M, the Salt and Stone team kindly reached out to me and they said, Sam, we noticed you love the Santel and Vetiver hand cream. We want to send you the new like body spray splash. And oh my God, I don't even know. I think it's just like a like a splash like it's not nothing too strong i love this after i get out of the shower or in the morning sometimes if i'm not like wanting to wear fragrance that day this smells like the hand cream it's a little bit on the sweeter side i don't mind it's so lovely it is it's really good it's it just if you like the hand cream like i do the two of them together wow so good anyways let's get into this h&m haul let's start off with a piece that i am so beyond excited about what piece is because if you watched my last vlog <laughs> you will have seen that i bought some really cute pjs in london and like i said i've just been into pjs i just want to feel super beautiful going to bed i mean i've always been like that but i have specifically been into like the shirt pant pajama sets and i specifically want them to just be all unique i don't want them all to follow like one style or look or trend no so these may look like a rather simple pair of pajamas, but when you look at the sort of hems of everything, they have this beautiful eyelet. Oh, the camera's overexposed. Let's see if I can get to show you. There you go, lighting's better. Now, the hems have this beautiful eyelet embroidery, and I know it's gonna be overexposed, it's gonna be so hard to see, but the embroidery is all along the bottom of the cuffs and shirt as well as on the bottom of the pant legs. So elegant, so dainty. I feel like you put this on and you just feel like a million bucks. I'm gonna have to try it on. I've yet to try it on, so I hope it looks okay. And I just got a size small. I'm so excited. So that was the first thing that I got. Sticking with some beautiful embroidered pieces is this next shirt. Now, I envisioned this on a day where I don't feel like dressing up and I just want to wear like comfy jeans and a shirt and this is the perfect shirt because it's got a beautiful wide sort of open neckline which is nice because when you wear necklaces you can see them and then again you've got some beautiful dramatic cuffs and the bottom is just kind of got this lace detailing which is oh, so beautiful my only thing it doesn't come with a sort of lining or anything like that so you would have to wear it with like some sort of nude tank top underneath. I myself, last time I wore this, I think it was in my last video that I was wearing this because I couldn't help myself. I just wore it with like my nude Skims bra. You honestly couldn't really tell. There is a bit of like fabric here across the front that kind of disguises it a little bit. And there's so much going on anyways that you kind of don't see too much. But again, if you want to feel a bit more comfortable, you could just add, like I said, a white tank or a nude tank underneath this. So beautiful. It's also on the longer length. You can see here, it kind of goes down to my thighs. Oh, so beautiful. Again, in the summer, oh, amazing. Now, next up, we have a beautiful eyelet midi dress. Now, I was so torn in this dress because this dress came in both navy and white, and I was this close to getting the white, and then I just thought, oh, get the navy. I feel like the navy is so elegant. You can wear it with brown, you can wear it with white. You can even do black and there was just something about it that in my mind would make this dress so versatile heading into even like fall and winter and so I went with the navy but again beautiful sort of classic neckline you guys know me I love my shirts and got some short sleeves which I don't typically do but I think this will be really pretty love the length I love a midi dress for the summer and it does come with its own belt but this is something you could always swap out for your own if you want to add like a nice leather belt even like the one that i'm wearing but yeah isn't it beautiful i love it <laughs> now my favorite time of the year is linen time if you are allergic to wrinkles linen is not the fabric for you accept it come to terms with it 
if you don't mind wrinkles. Linen is the perfect fabric for you. I think it gives such a like careless look. Honestly, I love linen in the summer. I have so many like simple linen dresses and I wanted to pick up a few from H&M and honestly, I will say they're 100% linen pieces. Their prices compared to other retailers are pretty great and they're really, really lovely. For example, this shirt, I mean, it's a classic. I got this light sort of baby blue color. I've been into this baby blue color recently just with some white pants in the summer. I love wearing pieces like this to the beach as well as a cover up or the pool, for example, super, super lovely. Anyways, I just wanted something classic like this for my wardrobe in the summer and this one is fantastic. Yellow is another color that I've realized I really truly do love and I just feel very beautiful in it. It's like that yellow Smythe blazer that I have. I wear it quite often and every time I put it on, I think it's the color. It just makes me feel like vibrant. And so when I saw these yellow pants, I immediately had to get them. Now, on the website, they were shown with the matching sort of jacket. And when I went to buy these, the pictures were there, but I couldn't find the yellow jacket. It didn't seem to be online yet. So I'm keeping my eye out for the jacket. Because again, in the summer, I feel like these, and I think these are linen blends. So this kind of linen blend trouser with like a white tank and the matching jacket to go out at night in case you get cold would be so cute. And again, these are funky because they've got the elasticated waistband, some pockets in the back, and they are very, very wide leg. And the fabric does feel very like nice and heavy and high quality. Um, I can't wait to try these on. They just look fabulous. Anyways, I just thought these would also make great sort of lounge pants to be around the house in the summer with a tank top or like a white linen shirt. Even though I'm at home, I want to like feel beautiful all the time. So, and now my favorite two pieces. I love the color of them and I can see myself wearing these both out of the house and around the house, which I love. But this is sort of a matching linen set. Uh, well, not a set. They are separate, but they go together. Um, so this is the classic linen shirt. This one, unlike the blue one, has no pockets in the front. So it's very like androgynous, which I love. This color is also very like cool toned while still being very earthy. Love it so, 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 so much. And then these are the matching trousers, which again are elasticated. And these ones, unlike the yellow ones, have a thinner elasticated waistband. You've got your tie here, wide leg, super flowy feels super super lightweight these ones are 100 linen yeah i just oh, i love this color i think it's so elegant anyways okay now let me try everything on for you <laughs> and show you what it looks like on i will admit i have tried nothing on except the white kind of embroidered shirt so if it doesn't work out you'll get to see it firsthand <laughs> this is probably my favorite outfit i feel so luxurious so beautiful and so confident in this outfit. Um, this is the all linen set and wow is all I have to say. I paired it with a beautiful sort of chunky necklace which honestly completely elevates this entire outfit. Just to give you a close-up of this necklace, it's rather new in my collection. It's from the brand Soru and oh my goodness it is so good. It just elevates this entire outfit. I love it so much. I've also gone with my Lady Dior and just some simple slides. Um, I will say, I feel like I could maybe hem the pants just a little bit considering that I think I'd probably wear this with sneakers or slides over heels. Now, you can sort of tuck it in on one side, you can untuck it and just be super slouchy, androgynous. I love it so much. What do you think of this one? I feel like this is a very me outfit, but here we've got the baby blue linen shirt. I've paired it with some white trousers, my Chanel sling bags, and my Lady Dior just to pick up the black from the sling bags, but it's very elegant, very simple. I feel like this is the type of outfit I reach for on a summer day when I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna wear, or what I feel like wearing, and this is just, it's a go-to. Very simple, beautiful. And just to come up a little bit closer with the shirt, truly is so, so lovely. Love the collar and the blue is just, I feel like perfect for summer. <laughs> what do we think? Yes, I love it. These are the yellow sort of linen blend trousers and they are 
Again, another one of my favorites. They feel like butter on the skin. And I will say, the waistband on these fits a little bit looser than the other linen pants that I have. Um, although I really, really love them. I paired it with some brown accessories. I've got my brown Strathberry, some brown heels. So they are a perfect length for, I would say, heels. If you're on the shorter side, like me, and you want to wear these without heels, I definitely say um, hemming might be required but other than that i think they are so beautiful what do we think oh i love these <laughs> here we have the beautiful navy dress which i actually love but i have a few thoughts about first and foremost sizing i'm wearing a size small but i feel like i have quite a bit of room to size down there's a lot of fabric around the midsection as well the shoulders feel a tad bit big so i feel like i could have sized down to an extra small but other than that, the dress feels very much like self-portrait inspired, which you guys know I love. And the navy reminds me of my prom dress. Um, but I actually do really love it. Now I've paired it with some brown accessories and the belt that it came with, just because I wanted to show you what that looks like. I'll put on like a leather belt in a second. But what do you think? Should I keep the small or size down? I don't know. I feel like this size is comfortable, but okay. Let me know what you think. Quickly popped on a brown belt for you to see. And I feel like the brown belt really shows off how much extra fabric there is around the waist. Um, but I really, really do love it. I think I'm gonna get the extra small, try them both on and see which one I like better. But otherwise the style is amazing. I love it. This feels like a grown up version of my prom dress and I love it. <laughs> now the set that I was so beyond excited for, which unfortunately I have, a few complaints about. First and foremost, I had to sort of roll up the waistband because the pants are actually quite long and because they've got the embroidery at the bottom, the embroidery kind of gets all messed up when it's like slouching and dragging across the floor. Other than that, I absolutely love them. I love the embroidery. The arms are beautiful. They're truly they're so elegant. I love them. What do we think? I don't know. Do you think they're keepers despite what I have to do to the waistband? I don't know. Okay. I need your help. Should I keep these or should I return them? Let me know. Good morning, everyone. I'm feeling so much better than I have been in my last few videos. I have had just consecutive headaches. Not sure why. I thought it was the weather. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just sleeping really, really poorly. But anyways, my hair. Now, my hair has been feeling the best that it has ever felt in the last, like, three years. I have essentially slowly been going back to my natural hair color. So from here to probably about here is my natural color. Really, really nice and dark. And then down here, I've got just, like, leftover balayage that I'm honestly just trying to grow out. But um, I want to talk about how I styled my hair. Now, I styled my hair a little bit differently today, um, honestly, out of pure laziness because last night I washed my hair. I didn't want to go to bed with wet hair. And then so what I decided to do was I grabbed my air wrap and I used just like the brush attachment and I quickly like dried my hair and called it a night, went to bed. So then this morning I was too lazy to use like my blow dryer and blow dry my ends how I usually do it. So I was like, oh, like how can I recreate the blow dry without using the blow dryer? And I just used this big attachment and then I used my straightener to sort of fix up this area. And uh, needless to say, I love how it turned out. I am also loving my long hair. It has been growing out for, I don't even know how long now. And at this point I'm like, how long can we go? I love the long hair. It is, I feel like it really suits me. I don't know, tell me what you think. But um, I used to think that I was gonna go short and now I'm just like, no, I like it nice and long. Makes me feel very beautiful. But anyways, um, today it's Friday. I'm very excited because I get to see Jack. <laughs> but other than that, um, the Sephora sale is actually starting soon. Actually, I think by the time you see this, the sale may have already started not sure. I wanted to essentially go through all of my empties. I have been saving a ton of my empties 
for I don't know how long. So I wanted to go through all of those, tell you which ones I would buy again, and then on top of that, go through sort of my recommendations for the Sephora sale. My recommendation list is like 10 items. No more than that because honestly, like for me in these recent sort of sales, um, I don't buy to buy. Like I literally buy what I am running out of and I check all my products. If I'm close to running out of something, I will put it on my list. And then if there's, you know, really expensive items that I've like had my um, eyes on, I will put those on my list. But other than that, I've been keeping it very, very minimal with my Sephora list, especially for the sales, because I feel like you can get in the habit of just like buying for the sake of buying because it's on sale, you know what I mean? So I've been really, really mindful with that. Um, I'm gonna get dressed, get an outfit on, and um, then we can get to doing that. I'm honestly like afraid to even look at my empties bin because I think there's a ton of stuff in there. <laughs> and I think I saw my mom put some of her stuff in there too. So anyways, let's put an outfit on and get ready for the day. I have gone for a bit of an all navy look today with a black belt. I was debating between a black belt or brown belt. I feel like black and blue have a bit of like a, you know, it's like a fashion rule. Like don't mix black and blue, but I don't know. I kind of like it. And this is just my little um, Aritzia skirt with my Holland Cooper turtleneck. It's really pretty, I like it. Okay, now for jewelry, I've got my little lab grown diamond hoops on. I'm gonna keep it really, really simple today. So I'm just going with my little bezeled ring and my Missouri stacker ring. Just my usual two rings on my right hand. Gonna add my Swarovski bracelet, which I got a while back and I wear it every single day. It is so beautiful. It looks so luxurious and it's so sparkly. It's one of my favorites. And then a new chunky bracelet, which I've been wearing alongside my watch. The brand is Soru. They have a really, really cute selection of jewelry, all different styles, but this one was one that really, really caught my attention. I've been looking for sort of like a super chunky as I was saying, I've been looking for sort of a super chunky bracelet to pair with my watch. That's the look of it there, and I actually really, really like it. And then to play off of the black accessories, I am going to add my Lola Rose watch, which actually has a black face, so it's kind of perfect. And I feel like that pairs really, really well with that chunky bracelet. And then my really dainty pieces from Idol and Missouri. So, feeling so good right now. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing how just doing your hair, doing your makeup, putting good jewelry on, a good outfit, makes you feel so good. Now, for the finishing touch, fragrance. For my fragrance, I'm gonna go with Naked from The Maker. I feel like every time I show you this fragrance, the amount keeps going like down and down, but so good. I'm waiting for the Sephora sale and I'm gonna buy myself the full-size bottle of this because I just, I love it. You have no idea how much I enjoy Mm, this fragrance so good and then I actually switched over to my summer Fridays just because I feel like it's a bit more hydrating than the say one and my lips right now you can't tell on camera but they're like cracked right down the middle and they're really really hurting I had to bring up my La Mer balm again uh, because my lips were hurting so much like even just like smiling my lips would like crack open oh it hurt so much okay now we're ready I promise I'm ready now <laughs> all right I have got my empties right beside me now i will say this is not very glamorous uh, storage situation but that's okay um uh, so i figured not only would i show you my empties but i would tell you um which ones i would repurchase or not and i mean there's going to be no particular order i'm literally just going to grab and go i am going to try and sort of grab all the same products because there are multiples of uh, multiple things so i'm gonna try to do it that way and it's just a mixture of skincare body care makeup um hair care there's there's a lot of a lot of everything in here so let's get into it first two things that are in here are my chanel water fresh tint uh there's two of them and i absolutely love it i have continued to repurchase this product i have two that are currently on the go in my vanity one is my summer shade one is my winter shade i love it they're so hydrating and they just feel like weightless on the skin they did come out with a more like fuller coverage one um i actually don't love that one as much as this one so whatever you purchase this absolutely 
We have the Jisoo shampoo. Love it. This is fantastic. Although I will say I have moved away from Jisoo. So I'm actually not going to repurchase this um, now that I've run out. Although it is fabulous and it gives you really, really like shiny, healthy hair. All right. We have got three bottles of the La Roche-Posay and Thelios um, sunscreen. Um, I will say I will no longer be repurchasing this just because I have moved from chemical sunscreens to physical sunscreen screens because I have found that physical sunscreens have really helped the redness on my skin because chemical sunscreens tend to bring up a little bit of heat to the surface of your skin that can also bring out redness but otherwise I mean this is a fantastic sunscreen it's completely translucent on the skin feels weightless I used to love it and I used to use this like it was my holy grail <laughs> All right, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I mentioned in a previous video, a recent video, that uh, First Aid Beauty was one of the first skincare products that I sort of like bought for myself with my own money in like first year university, maybe grade 12, oh, maybe during the pandemic, I'm not sure. <laughs> but this was the product that I used. This was the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin. Honestly, it's fantastic. It's really hydrating, scent free. I have nothing negative to say about it. If you're looking for a more like affordable um, moisturizer, check this one out. We have a refill from my premier career now. I must have recycled other ones of this, but I saved one for you guys. And, and yeah, would I repurchase this? Absolutely. I love Caudalie and their premier crew is fantastic. And again, you can just take these to any Caudalie store and recycle them or recycle them at home. So there you go. Continuing with some Caudalie, um, we've got two of the premier crew serums. Absolutely love it. Would I repurchase? Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> now I have a few of these. This is the Caudalie Venusaurus serum. Would I repurchase this? A million times yes. I have been a lover of the Venusaurus range. I have found that it really, really helps hydrate my skin. It tackles that redness on my skin, which is fabulous. And, and yeah, I think I must have thrown out the other ones. I didn't save it. Mom is usually the one that like will grab my empties and put them in here for me. But yeah, highly, highly recommend if you're someone who has dry skin and even sensitive skin, this range in particular is amazing. The classic boy brow, would I recommend this? Yes, will I be repurchasing? No, and that's because I have actually been using the Jones Road brow gel for the last six months at least. And I will say at first, it's really frustrating because the Jones Road one has so much product on it that you gotta be like really careful when you put it on your brows, but it lasts so much longer than the Glossier one. These ones just don't have enough product in them. And I feel like I have to repurchase these like every, I don't even know how many months. And, um, but yeah, so that's why I'm moving away from my boy brow. Okay, we've got three different concealers here. We've got my Rare Beauty one, which is an absolute repurchase. I actually am running out of the one that I currently have, and I will be repurchasing another one during the Sephora sale. I use the shade 17DW, and again, this is not gonna cover any dark circles, at least for me it doesn't, but it is a fantastic brightener, and that's why I use this shade. It's like really, really light. It's fabulous. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is my bestie when it comes to like covering dark spots. This gal covers, it doesn't brighten. I use the shade Light 3 Honey, specifically for color correcting dark circles. So I only use a tiny bit in my inner corners when I need it and I pair it with this. So, so good. Will I repurchase? Um, yes, I always keep this in my vanity. Always, always, always. We have eraser. I haven't used this in a long time. I have found concealers that I love much more since this, so I won't be repurchasing this, but it is great. <laughs> now these are oldies, but these are three Clinique Moisture Surge. These are fantastic, fantastic moisturizers, especially for the summer months. Super light and hydrating. If you have dry skin, which I do now, I feel like when I was younger, I didn't used to have as dry skin. Um, so I don't reach for this as much, but if you're someone who has like oily skin and already beautifully hydrated skin, this is a fantastic moisturizer. So good, I promise you, it is so, so good. Um, I won't be repurchasing it, because like I said, my skin has different needs now than it used to, but yeah. <laughs> 
these are the absolute best. This is the Caudalie Replenishing Vegan Body Butter. This saved my skin. It has helped my eczema so much whenever I'm going through like eczema flare-ups and my skin is just like dry like the Sahara Desert. This is the body lotion that I reach for. It's very thick. It may not be for everybody, but for me that have dry skin, especially living here in Canada, this one really, really works for me. Now, if you want something a little bit lighter, um, they do have another um, sort of formulation that is just doesn't feel as thick, like this is a body butter. But again, if you're like me, you have dry skin, <laughs> test this out. Um, yeah, fantastic. Love totally. And will I be repurchasing? Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. Absolutely love this. I always keep this like in my bag, in my vanity, in my carts. Um, so will I be repurchasing? Yes. We've got a couple empties of my Amika dry shampoo. Will I be repurchasing? No, because I have fallen in love with the L'Occitane um, dry shampoo. It is a like water spray and it smells amazing and it works without leaving like white residue on your hair. This one doesn't either. I actually quite frankly love the smell of this one, but I actually found the L'Occitane one worked better than any other dry shampoo I've ever used. It was so good, so. Yeah, unfortunately, I won't be repurchasing these, even though they are fantastic. <laughs> Some micellar waters. We've got the By Terry and the La Roche Posay. The By Terry one was lovely, smelled phenomenal, like roses. Um, but honestly, I felt like it did the same as the La Roche Posay. When it comes to micellar waters, actually, the La Roche Posay one is the one that I continuously buy. So, will I repurchase this? Yes, I will just wait for it to go on sale. I will say that. All right, we've got my Caudalie cleansing oil. Will I repurchase this a million times? Yes. In fact, I will be repurchasing this during the sale because um, it's fantastic. It is a first step in my evening skincare routine in the shower. I rub it in, I give myself a face massage, and then I go in with my handy dandy Dermalogica cleansing gel. This is the only two things that I use to cleanse my skin. They are the best. I will continue to repurchase these two over and over again because they just, they really work for me. So there you go. Next up, we have two cleansers. We have the Caudalie Vino Pure Cleanser. Will I be repurchasing this? No, and that's just because it's not meant for my skin type. The Vino Pure range at Caudalie is actually formulated for more acne prone skin. Um, so on my skin that is already a little bit dry, I tend to find this one a little bit drying on my skin. Jack really enjoys this one. It's just, it's not for my skin type, but I did try it out and um, it is lovely, but yeah. Next up, we have the Skin Fix. I used to use this all the time. If you're someone who kind of just wants a one-stop shop, maybe you don't use a whole lot of makeup, um, you just use skincare and SPF, this is a fantastic cleanser. This one is an oil to foam cleanser, so it's gonna remove all your SPF. It is fragrance-free, so it's perfect for sensitive skin. Yeah, I honestly have nothing negative to say about this one. I really, really like Skin Fix, and this was one of the first sort of like real sort of cleansers I use. This was like back at the like the start of the pandemic is when I discovered this brand back in like 2020, I think it was. Really, really great. Although it's fantastic, I unfortunately will not be repurchasing just because I have my sort of oil cleanser duo here that I swear by, so yeah. But if you're looking for a one-stop shop, this is it. Now we have the Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask. This is one of my favorite masks. It does what the name suggests it calms. Like I mentioned, I have redness on my skin, my skin gets very dry, um, and this targets just that. So will I be repurchasing this? Yes, in fact, I already have a backup ready to go. And I will say their masks are some of my favorite products that they make. I just think they do them really, really, really well, but yeah, really great mask. One of the best discoveries I have ever made. This is the Chanel Sublimage Eye Concealer. It is and I was talking to one of you ladies about this. It costs an arm. <laughs> the most expensive concealer I have ever purchased in my life. But it is one of the best concealers I have ever used up until this day. It is so like barely there. It really color corrects. It brightens. It literally does everything I want a concealer to do um, in one go. It's phenomenal. I will a million percent repurchase this. I typically like to wait for the Holt Run Through sale where all their like beauty goes on like 15% off. I mean, it's not a huge savings, but it's it's something. So that's usually when I pick this up and it's the one product that even if I'm not running out, I will buy it when it goes on sale because 
I want to save a little bit on it. Um, this one was well loved. So there you go. Million percent free purchase. Uh, we have two of my Caudalie beauty elixirs. I've got a mini and I've got a full size. Will I repurchase these? A million percent. I always have these. I think I have like four on the go in my um, dressing room but um one of my favorite things i love to refresh my makeup during the day i love to finish and set my makeup with this i love to use it on the plane when my skin is really dry i mean this has a million and five uses to it and i absolutely love it it is one of my favorite products from Kodalee. Um, now we have the Dior Forever Perfect Fix. Love this product and I actually just finished up another bottle that is still sitting empty in my dressing room. Um, I stopped using this because they changed the nozzle spray and it like literally attacks your face when you use it. It used to be like a mist. So beautiful. I love this product um, because it used to make my skin look so glowy and it would actually make my makeup last a really, really long time. Like it's a very effective product. But between the nozzle and the pretty strong smell which I actually really like um, I just feel like it's probably not good for my skin um, I have since moved away from it uh, sadly if they would just fix the stinking nozzle I would repurchase this um, but yeah I've actually rebottled it into a different little bottle and it's much better so I might I might do that I might repurchase and like decant it into a different spray bottle that is less aggressive on my on my skin we have the Glossier Lash Like, one of my favorite mascaras. I will not be repurchasing this just because I have so many on the go right now, but it is one of my favorite mascaras. I would say my top three mascaras right now would be Lash Like, we've got my Clay de Peau mascara, and I'm really enjoying the Swede Beauty mascara. Those are my top three at the moment. They are fantastic, um, but yeah, if you are looking for a really natural, non-clumpy, easy to remove mascara, I would highly, highly recommend the Glossier one. Um, super, super fabulous. And last but not least is my Caudalie Venusaurus Moisturizing Sorbet. This is one of my favorite, favorite moisturizers. Alongside, where did it go? Alongside the serum, this literally made my skin like so perfect so not red and even toned now i will say these two in the winter in canada when it reached like peak dryness and just peak coldness um i did have to move away from this one and i moved to premier crew rich as well as the drug elephant bora barrier those two for the winter months were phenomenal but now that spring is on its way i have switched back to these two and they are just so good. I especially love this one. It was such a random find. I discovered this one whilst getting a facial at Caudalie and they were putting it on me and I asked what the heck they were putting on my skin because it felt so, so good. And she told me it was this, instantly purchased, and I have been in love with it ever since. Um, this is a range I actually, I feel like is a bit of an underdog at Caudalie and I feel like it doesn't get enough love, but uh, I sure love it. So that is the last product in this um, empties sort of haul, I guess you could say. Now, do let me know if you wanna keep seeing these. I will continue to save my empties um, and chat about them whenever there's a good amount to chat about. But um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. Now, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and I can finally recycle it all now that I've shown you everything because this was really taking up some room in the office. But let's put all this away. Like for my Sephora recommendations, I was like, oh, how should I show you guys this? Um, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go through my cart one by one and show you everything that is in my Sephora cart and do it that way. Instead of giving you like 25 things of recommendations, I'm literally gonna show you what I'm buying because those are my, those I guess are the best recommendation. So I've come back to my dressing room to chat about, um, my Sephora shopping list. I feel like I've been doing a lot of chatting today, but let's go through my shopping cart. So this is 
my shopping cart and let's go through it from top to bottom. First up, we have my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Um, because I'm actually running out of it, I thought it would be a perfect time to replenish and I do love it. It's very, very hydrating on the lips. It gives a nice glow, no complaints there. Now this is a new one. Next up, we have the Cali Ray Free Dreaming Blurring Lightweight Skin Tint. Looks like this. Actually, I'll get mom to put pictures on the screen for you. Um, and it says here that it is a clean, lightweight, and buildable skin wellness liquid sheer foundation to blur, hydrate, and reduce redness for a natural looking fresh face glow. Haven't really heard anybody talking about this brand, but the lightweight skin tint had me. And then the like reducing redness, blurring, glowiness, I was like, yep, sold. So I'm gonna try it out at only $26. Great price. $26 for a skin tint. And then we have my Westman Atelier Contour Stick in the shade Truffle. Mine is almost out and it's not the cheapest, so perfect time to replenish. This next one, uh, it's in my cart now, but I, <laughs> I'm a little bit hesitant because it's very expensive. But this is the Westman Atelier Clean Liquid Blender Brush. It is $170. I don't know if it's worth $170, but supposedly it's like handmade, really high quality. It's like a one-stop brush. You can use it for your foundation. You can use it for your bronzer. You can use it for everything. But like I already have other great brushes and do I really need more? I just, I'm kind of torn, but it's on my, it's as of right now, it's in my basket. Um, next up we have the Caudalie cleansing oil. Of course, I just talked about it. I'm almost out. Then we have the Maker Naked full-sized bottle of perfume. I've been talking about it nonstop. I want the full-size bottle to have and to be able to refill my mini. So yeah. And then we have the Maker Spiritus Candle. Great discovery. They actually kindly gifted me one when I went to Hudson um, with the Maker. And it is one of the most like elegant smelling fragrances, or sorry, not fragrances, candles ever. It is also so fragrant. Like it's, it's got a very good scent payoff, which I really appreciate. Anyways, next up we have the Caudalie Venosaurus Moisturizing Sorbet. I have just run out of mine, so it's time for a new one. Now, the next thing on my list is actually one that I have almost finished using. I think I have like one more hair wash left in there. It is the Kerastase Symbios Soothing Shampoo. So I discovered this last year. I actually went on a little like one day getaway with the Kerastase for this product. And this product is supposed to be for it's essentially dandruff. Now I don't have like crazy dandruff, but I have always, my entire life, at least my adult life, um, have always had like just white specks through my hair. Nothing really visible unless you get like up close and personal, um, but they're there. And this has kept it in check. So I essentially use this once a week mixed with their conditioner, although I feel like their conditioner is like, you could, you could use any conditioner, but it's the shampoo that really works for me. And I noticed it because when I've traveled and I haven't used the shampoo, I can see my dandruff coming back within like those two weeks of washing my hair with something else. Again, if you're someone like me who deals with a little bit of dandruff, highly recommend trying this range out. At the very least, the shampoo. I feel like, like I said, you can get away with not using the conditioner or they have another product in their range, which I am using, but I don't use every single time. Um, so yeah. And last but not least is my JVN Blowout Styling Milk. I use it every single time I do my hair. I was a little bit skeptical because I am someone that honestly has always sort of recommended like less is more when it comes to hair products. Like when I style my hair, I use a heat protectant and, and I would rebuy the one that I am using, but I just bought a bottle, which is the Jisoo heat protectant. So good, very lightweight, doesn't weigh down your hair. But like I was saying, um, I've always been less is more, so heat protectant and maybe a little bit of hair oil at the end if you need it. So when I integrated this blowout styling milk into my routine, I was a little bit like, mm, is this really gonna do anything? Like it's sort of like, whatever. Um, it actually makes a difference. Uh, for me specifically, I have a lot of hair. It takes a hot minute to do my hair. Um, it significantly reduces my styling time. And the only reason I noticed was because when I would go to my parents on the weekend, um, occasionally I would like have to wash my hair there and blow dry it there. And every time I obviously like just out of laziness, I wouldn't bring the styling milk. 
and I kept saying, I was like, oh my goodness, my hair is taking forever. Like it's not drying, it's frizzy. It's, it, I could just like, my arms would get like exhausted of, from doing my hair at my parents' house. I was like, okay, your humidity must be different. I was literally finding like every reason under the sun for why I was taking my hair so long to blow dry and to blow dry smoothly. I was using the same brush and blow dryer. So I was like, what the heck is going on? Until one day my mom was like, have you thought about it could be like the like pre blow dry serum thing that you use? And I was like, oh my goodness, you might be right. So anyways, long story short, it makes a huge difference in the amount of time that it takes my hair to dry, as well as just in the beautiful glow and healthiness. Obviously this is not all the product, like my hair is very healthy right now, which like is a strong contributor, but for frizz and just smoothness, the styling milk really makes a huge difference on my hair. So that's a bit of an underdog product that I actually really, really enjoy. And um, I know when I like a product, when I don't necessarily think about it too much, but I kind of don't wanna go without it. Like when I go to do my hair and I'm like, where's my styling milk? I need it, I need it, I need it. I don't necessarily think every day to myself, oh wow, this product, I love it so much, but I like am unhappy when I don't have it with me. Um, that's how I know I love a product. So um, that was the last thing on my list. It's a very um, tamed. Um, I am just sort of repurchasing the things that I'm running out of and a few things that are definitely a higher price tag. And uh, I want to save a little bit of money on them. So yeah, that is my Sephora wish list. And those are honestly would be my personal recommendations if you are looking for things of that sort for yourself. Anyways, for the rest of the day, I have to do school, which I'm not very excited about. It is finals exam season. Um, I have an exam next week, which I am nowhere near prepared for, I will admit. Someone asked me how I've been managing with school and work. And because they were also thinking about going back to school. And it's such a tough situation. I will say it is... I am not doing it well or gracefully, I will say. I am just like trudging through, trying to get my work done, doing the bare minimum because at this point, like I just need my degree, right? I'm not doing post-grad. I'm not gonna use my degree. And I feel like that's been a really tough sort of mental switch for me because if you guys have been around for a while, if you haven't, um, I have, always been a huge academic. I was, am a nerd. I love learning. I've always been a book person, a history person. I love art history. Like I would be the seven year old that would literally drag my parents to a museum to look at art and to learn about history. And I would ask for like history books for Christmas, not toys, history books. That's who I've always been. So to be at a point in my life where, you know, I have found my passion, I have found my career, but to also then know and have the goal of finishing school, but to know that I don't need to get 90s, I don't need to get A's, um, and that it's okay to just sort of submit and pass and get on with it has been hard. I feel like it's been a hit to my ego because, you know, I'm handing assignments in that I know I could do a million times better but, you know, I don't have the time for that. And yeah, it's been tough, but it's something that I've had to accept and work through. And, you know, at the end of the day, I will have my degree at some point. We will have the biggest celebration whenever I get my degree. Oh my goodness. But uh, that's been a, bit, a little bit of an update. So for those asking like how I do it, I'm just like barely doing it and it's not easy, it's not graceful, it's not pretty, long nights, it's sometimes feeling like you're not good enough and you know you're there with other students who are able to allocate 100% of their time to school and you know we're all on different paths and I think that is the one thing that my mom and dad, especially my mom keeps reminding me like we're all on different paths here and we all have different goals and that's okay, right? So yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit of a life update for you guys. I'm still in school, still finishing it. It's just, it's not easy and it's not fun either. So I have a couple of assignments due. I have an exam next week, which I just have to catch up on readings because with all the traveling I've been doing, I have had to miss so much class. 
and being in history like i remember jack telling me with like being in math they would literally upload all the sort of lectures but with sound and everything like lecture slides in history that is not the case at least in my university like they will upload these slides which typically have like two bullet points and a picture and that's it like if you miss the lecture like you're screwed um essentially and i am not a very social person like at university i would like go i had my routine down okay i was not there to socialize i would like go and i had my spot i always liked sitting in the same spot and having like my coffee my tea or whatever ready to go and i just enjoyed being in class and listening and learning and um so i am not the type to be like hey can i have the notes from last class or like you know make too many acquaintances in my class so that doesn't help me and i know i'm not helping myself by like not having other students in the class to get notes off of but also like that's my responsibility that's not on them to help me give me the notes of the classes that I'm, I've missed but anyways yeah what else I feel like I'm telling you so much from a very chatty mood oh Jack's gonna have so much fun with me tonight I'm gonna be like <gasps> chatterbox sometimes he's like Sam you know you've been talking for like 20 minutes straight right sorry Anyways, I have to send my mom all of this footage that I have just filmed so she can edit it so you guys can watch it. So sorry, mom, for all the rambling that I've been doing. But yeah, I'm gonna go now, do some school, focus on school. I didn't submit one assignment today and I'll feel proud. Um, yeah, let's go do it.